This is the painting that we're doing today and all we're doing today is the table and the glass of red wine, looks like a martini glass, and a couple of olives, a little flower on the table. But the background, um, I have a link to a tropical island, which is much easier than this one. So all you need for this glass of red wine painting is a chiseled edge, flat brush, and a synthetic. See how, how sharp it is? See? And that's about a size 6. There are different sizes depending on the size of your canvas. I'm using a size 11 by 14 canvas. And the next brush you need is a small round brush. And this one is a size 5. And uh, you can use this one. Or whatever you have handy as long as it's round or you know uh, you can also use a liner brush. And the paints you need for this painting are cad red, cad yellow, ultramarine blue, sap green, burnt umber, and black and white. Black and white are not really colors, sir. they're there to increase or decrease the values of your paints. So, let's get started. The paints that I'm using today are Windsor and Newton and these are really nice paints. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy these on my Amazon shop. And these are uh, Galleria. So I'm just going to make my table on this edge here over 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 and I'm not going to go all the way across I'm going to go on a diagonal and then I got my table that way see so you can see it there so you can have any kind of table you have a table goes straight across if you like I'm just going to pick up some brown and a bit of red for my table, for my tabletop. You can have any colors you want. I'm not mixing them totally. See how I left it separated like that? So let's try that. And let's just put a table on here. We have to have a table. Now, I'm painting over a painting that I already did. So you can paint any kind of a scenery that you want and then put a table on and then your and then your glass. So this is just concentrating right now on our glass. Because I did get a request to uh, how to do a martini glass and we'll probably put a couple of olives in that. Might need to do two coats here, okay? So just get your table done first and I'm just going to go as far as here as if the people are sitting over here somewhere and then I'm just going to put on my I'm going to do a second coat because I have to go over those rocks that are coming through so you when you start a painting you do your beach paint if you don't have a beach painting I have a, a tutorial on how to paint a tropical beach with palm trees and then you could do that first if you like and then you could add your glass after Okay, because I already have the tropical uh, island done in another video. See, that table's pretty nice. So I'm going to do a second coat on my table. So you need two coats, because if you do your painting first, your tropical island first, you can either leave a square out for your table or just paint over what you have done. And you just might need two coats, that's all. I wouldn't worry about it too much. We'll do our two coats. Get that nice and thick. Okay, so let's continue on putting our second coat on there. Just going back and forth with my flat brush. Flat synthetic. And that red gives the brown kind of a nice table look. Gives a nice mahogany look, doesn't it? Cute. And you can use different color reds, darks, lights, but just put it on there 
it will blend when it goes on and then you can put more red in there if you don't want it to blend too much just go on top good chiseled edge is good for any straight lines that you want to make right get my chiseled edge up against that straight line there and then I will I think that's good that is marvelous good now as you can see we are going to draw our glass you can see a little bit of it there where I was trying to set it up and um, so we'll, uh, we'll redraw our glass because I painted over the bottom of it and now we have to redraw it so draw it over again there we go. So we'll continue and you'll need probably a ruler to draw it. And if you need a pattern, I can send you one. Just get your glass drawn on there. Good. Get your shape. It's the most important thing is it to shape. Let's just draw a line out here, a line out here, and here. Something like the top, except upside down. So let's just outline our glass with some dark, sh that'll be our shadows. So use the chisel edge of your flat brush, and then we'll get the outline of our glass first. Chisel edge leave the center as much as you can there and then the line down here now I'm using you can use black or you can use some blue and uh, dark blue ultramarine and some red and some burnt umber to make a really nice dark color okay for your shadows it's prettier than black so we'll just get some shadows going on down here first, just so we can get the shape. At least get that much done. Go down here. We have a nice shape of that bottom of our glass. Good. Good. So we'll just add our burgundy, our chiseled edge brush, good, almost to the top of the glass, I'm sorry, halfway, and that's just red and blue, ultramarine blue, to get a nice burgundy color. And now, we will add some more red. Yeah, so let's just add some more red to our brush to lighten it up a little bit on the top there so we can see through it a little bit. I'm just going into red. I'm not cleaning my brush, but I'm just using the red and maybe a little bit of white just to lighten it up a small bit. Good. We'll come up over that line that we just did. And we'll come in here and it'll give us nice glass I'll go over to the edge chisel edge brush really helps you to keep your line straight all right it's almost a full glass just smoothing it out down here all right we've outside lines we can always fix that good Now, see, you cool. So what I'm going to do next, take my chiseled edge brush again, and I'm going to put some white on it. And I am going to, let's see, let's see. I'm going to add some white on the edge here. So we can see the edge of the glass. 
coming down here a little bit and on the top it's coming over the top of the glass leave that open space there so you can see through it if you need more white go get it Moving on the sides. A little bit down around here in the glass. Just some highlights in the center. And we will make sure that's dry. Make sure your paint is dry right here. And then you can add some highlight from the sun here. And just a little bit here. There we go. So just take a damp, clean brush, a really damp, really clean brush. And if you have take your take off your chalk marks, then you'll be able to see what your shape is like. Your shape is odd then you can go over it and wipe off any excess paint and clean it up so that you get the right shape of your glass depends on the shape of glass you're having to right there we go okay so let's get some more white a little bit of blue just to tone down the white a little bit and we'll put some in here so let's make a smiley face another smiley face and another smiley face and one more there we go that will give you a roundness of the glass then we'll put some white on the edge good some more white in here and we'll just fill it in a little bit just trying to leave some highlights and shadows smooth it out just by rubbing rubbing and rubbing so you came down here with a little smile just moving, it, moving it out there on the edge We'll probably put back some more shadows there now too in a minute. All right. Good. So we will put some shadows in there. So go back with your purple. Some red and blue. Nice dark purplish color. Okay. And... So just mix your reds and blues together just so that you can get nice and dark. So we'll use that for shadow. All right. So put a little bit of shadow in here on the side. Just use your chiseled edge. Good. A little bit over here. So it's mainly, uh, you know, it's mainly shadows highlights yeah just kind of get a little shadow on the edge there and here just trying to find where I would like shadows the sun is on the right so the light will be on the right the highlights over here some more shadow on this side. Good. Just moving a bit of shadow in here, but I might put some more highlight there. All right, so nice and dark. All right, so we'll get nice dark shadows over here. We'll get a shadow, shadow under here. 
straighten up that edge there if it's not the right shape. See, you can always shape it up. Nice and dark on this edge. If you can't get it dark enough, you certainly could use some black. But I kind of like having the colors mixed. That way it don't look like mud. Let's try to get some shadow colors in here. Good. Straighten up your glass so it doesn't look, it looks odd or it looks like it's not in the right shape. Okay, it's coming along. I'm going to add a little more white. Just picking up some white. And just lay it up over here, just a couple little smiles. Whoops. Just on the edge there. Good. Good. So pick up some more white again. Add a little tiny bit of blue to it if you want to tone it down a bit. You want to be too chalky looking. And you can drag some white down here too because it gives it more of a, makes it look more like it's a, a glass. Right? So you have to go back and forth and get it the way you're you're trying to get it. There we go. Just add a bit more white over what you just did, just to give it that glassy look. See? See? Same with the bottom part there. Little bit dabs of white. To show that the sun is probably shining on it. You can even tap it on if you want. Just gives it a little glisten. A little bit of glisten. Yeah, tapping it on helps. Good. So however much you think you need up here. Take it from the top and pull it in. There we go. go. It's better. So the more little details you do, the better it looks. A little bit more white on this part of it here. Maybe a little bit here. I don't want to overdo it because then we lose it. But it has to have that white on the glass to make it look like a glass. Now you know there are tons of ways to make glass and so this is just the way I'm doing it, but you, there's lots of ways, there's lots of videos on YouTube that you can check out and take everybody's video and make your own. I'm just going to take my dark paint and I'm going to make a stick to hold the olive. So the stick is inside the glass, it's probably there. going into the glass. There we go. Okay. Just get a small round brush. Just so we can make the olive. Now you can draw the olive out first with chalk or you can just start making your olive. So I have sap green very dark green. And I'm just going to put that on my brush and I'm going to make a circle. So we'll just make a little circle like an olive. Good. We'll call that, a, we'll call that an olive. <laughs> just have one. All right. And we'll finish that off there now. So I'm going to add more green to that. So I have a bit of a lighter green this time. See it? And I'm going to add that to this edge over here on the right. 
that's where, where I always think about where the sun is. Okay, leave a little bit of darkness on the other side. Good. And then we're going to pick up some red. A bright red, if you like. It doesn't have to be bright red, but it can be any kind of red. And we'll put it here as if the, the olive has that little red center. And then we'll have a little bit of white, a little highlight on the olive. There we go. Now, a little olive, and you got a little, and your stick is down in the glass, so you can't see it behind the top of the glass there, right? So you make sure you separate those two, and it goes down inside the glass, you fade it out, and if you can still see it too much, just add a bit of white streaks over, just to show that it's, on, it's inside the glass. Okay, see? A few streaks. So, there's lots more you can do with it, but, you know, that's uh, the easiest way that I could find to show you. So that's the easiest way. Draw it out first with some chalk. Then put some dark lines on the edges to make sure you got your uh, shape correct. And then put your highlights in between those dark lines. Make some smileys here with some white paint. And then you can put some shadows back in. So go back and forth with some shadows. If you lost some of your shadows, you can put them back in by just going between those whites. Just think about a little smile. A little smile. All right? That gives it a nice one there. And then you can have your, your darks on the side here. And then a bit of uh, white uh, to highlight the edges. And then a bit of white on the top. You can also put some dark lines in there too if you want. But I'm not going to do that right now. And you fill it in with your wines. A dark wine down here. And you can have it a bit lighter on top so it looks like you can see through it. And then you put these, the, the important thing about this is the highlights. So you see, when you put these streaks of white on your glass, it makes it look like glass. And then you just do your olive with just a round circle and your little red center and a little white dot to give it a highlight because your sun is coming from the right. So you can do that and hopefully that helped you. And um, I tried to make it as easy as I could. And you got your little table, so you just draw out your table the way you want it and paint it over whatever color you want. It can be browns and reds and whatever colors, but you know, you can also put a little, another little olive on the table as if there was some, you know, you can put a rose there, you can put olives there, you know, just make a little round green, dark green, and then a little bit of a lighter green on the edge on the right side. And then you can put a bit of red in the center, right there, and then a little bit of dab of white for a highlight, and you got a little olive on the table. Let's see, maybe there's a little stem coming up from your olive. I don't know. I've never seen stems on before, so I'll just leave that. But if you want a little rose. There, just put some white on your round brush, a little bit of red, white on one side and red on the other. And just put a little rose there, just put with the red side down, just to make a little smiley backwards C and a forward C and a backward C and a forward C. You need more white, go get white. I want it to look like a rose, not like another olive, hey. See? Little, little rose, whatever you want on the table, maybe a little shadow, just little shadows, which is only your dark purple color. A little, sh where's the sun coming in here? So that shadow will be on the other side. Sorry about that. So if the uh, the sun is on the right, the shadow is on the left. Don't want to steer you wrong. There we go. I'm just taking some of the. Taking some of the wet paint from it. 
shadows it really helps a lot can you see that can you see the shadow then there's a shadow under the glass so always look for your shadows and I'll pull it out a bit on this side here so you can see that it's a shadow there so if that's not dark enough in there you can add more shadows in there it's just like when you get it all done keep looking at it and, and say okay do I need more shadows do I need more highlights? Shadows and highlights. Okay. So you feel that you need more shadows. Darkening the wine up a little bit. You don't have to do this now. I'm just trying to show you a few things you can do. Alright. You want your glass of wine to be a little darker on the bottom you can do that too just make some shadows look like you're coming through you can add more shadows here if there's too much brightness here if you want to throw in a few little ones there tone it down a little bit so much you can do have so much fun with it so I think I'm gonna call that finished and I may do another one if you want me to do another one different shapes and different color drinks inside also, um, I have the uh, painting, a different painting than this one. I don't have a tutorial on this one, on this beach and palm tree, but I do have some on, um, uh, I'll leave the link below to the, to the painting that I have, um, a tropical beach, and then you can do the beach first and tropical beach first, then do all the additions that I just showed you, okay? So that's nice. So I will let you go and you practice that and leave in the comments below what, uh, you know, what else you'd like me to try for you. And I'm trying to simplify it as much as I can. So that's probably why, uh, you know, it looks simple because I'm simplifying it. Um, it can be more complicated. There's lots more videos out there. So you have a look around and take as many and practice and, and put one together yourself. And I'd love to see your videos and your paintings or your paintings I should say unless you, if you are doing videos you can let me know and uh, email alisonprior at yahoo.com and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.